Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week number five of the Tokyo Training Diary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You might be wondering, where is week four of the Tokyo Training Diary? That's my bad. We had a recovery week. We had barely any training. I filmed the training sessions I did, but I didn't film any talking at the training sessions. And then at the end of the week, I realized I didn't have a story. So I tried to make a video about other stuff, about the nutrition side of things during a recovery week and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I just didn't like the way it looked. So I deleted it all. <laughs> but I promise you, you did not miss much last week. I did barely any training. I tried to offload my foot because of an issue that we had, which I explained in this video and that's about it you're all caught up all right back to the video it's probably been I would say three weeks since I've really pushed a lactic session so today we need to make sure we're working hard to make sure we're not losing fitness we are starting the week with three sets of three back-to-back -back 120s Unfortunately, I had to stop after two sets instead of three because my foot hurts. I've got some inflammation that snuck its way in there a couple weeks ago and it's been slowly getting worse and worse over the last few weeks. So I need to kind of offload it as much as possible and not aggravate it even more. And after that second set, I was definitely feeling it quite a bit. So I had to miss out on the third set today and I'm going to the doctor right now to chat about options and how we can make it better. But hopefully tomorrow we have a day of uninterrupted training. We have made it to the QAS and the option we decided with the doctor is to knock it on the head by getting it injected with some cortisone, which should just settle all the inflammation down. I'll have to take a few days off training, but I would prefer just knocking it on the head, getting it sorted and then being able to get back into training. So I've pushed the injection back to Thursday which gives me Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday morning to do kind of the entire week of, of training. And then I will probably have to take Thursday through to Monday off. So we're rejigging the week right now, but today we're doing gym, then long jump and then shot put. That hurts my foot, so we're gonna do some shot drills instead. gym was pretty good we did have to cut out a few exercises kind of those reactive things that would probably annoy the toe a little bit and then we went to do a few little drills afterwards we we're going to do discus but I actually couldn't really turn on that left foot and push off it off the back of the circle so we changed and did some shot put and now I'm out at the track to do some long jump which I'm not sure if it'll hurt my foot. I'm hoping to really just kind of roll off the takeoff instead of slam the foot in. And then we're gonna go over and do some shot put.
Long jump is done. Toe definitely hurt a little bit, but not too bad. And now we're getting onto some shot put. Shotput was actually one of the better sessions I've had since Nationals, and it's all because I came in with more energy and aggression than the last few weeks. The last few weeks have been kind of slow and lethargic, and I've been trying to feel positions and try new things and haven't really got anything out of it. Today, I just wanted to get in there and give it some more energy, and that's actually one of the big things that we addressed with um, progressing with Shotput, is just coming into those sessions and just belting it harder. So. Definitely a good session, and that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Welcome to Wednesday. I'm trying to fit a few sessions in before my injection tomorrow afternoon. So I've decided to do some pole vault this morning and really just come in, keep working on those, those arms, getting them nice and high, because I actually may have a pole vault comp next week, at the end of next week. So just touching base with the pole vault, and then I will probably finish with some run throughs, some tempo, seeing if we can get up to speed, not pushing the accelerations too hard, but just focusing nicely on form. That was actually a pretty good session. I did what I needed to do. The eight steps actually felt really good. The 12 steps, I didn't quite get it. I was actually kind of struggling to get the run up right because I couldn't accelerate the way I usually do. So I couldn't really hit my mid mark and then I was over striding through the second half of the, uh, the run up. But we managed to kind of sort that out a little bit and the last few felt pretty good. So there's definitely more there. <laughs> as I always keep saying. But today was a really good day and a really nice progression. That felt very different, in a good way. It felt like I was taller, it felt like I was contacting underneath my body more, it felt like my knees at contact were in a straight line instead of one being kind of still hanging too far out the back. So it definitely felt different in a good way. It is very hard to make those changes though and by the time I run through 80 meters I'm exhausted. But a good change nonetheless. Now my foot hurts, so I'm gonna go ice it and then go and rest it this afternoon and I will see you guys tomorrow. Welcome to Thursday. This morning I am doing 10 400s on two minutes break or as many 400s as I can do till my foot starts to hurt. And this is our last foot loading session until next week, I guess. So my last chance to get a bit of hard work in just to make sure I'm not losing any fitness over the next few days when I have to rest the foot. I got through four and a half reps. The first four, I could definitely feel the foot halfway down the back straight on that fifth one. I could, I could really feel the foot, it was really starting to hurt. So I'm leaving it there, which is really frustrating because I don't think I got much fitness out of today. I only got through four reps, but it also really hurt, which probably shows I'm unfit and my foot hurts. So. I think in the next couple days I'm gonna to have to go into the gym and maybe do one of those like rowing bike machines 
without using the foot obviously um, just to get some sort of fitness because this is the block to get fit and I feel like I've lost a ton and I've almost wasted this week kind of trying to adapt stuff and really getting no hard work done so it's frustrating but uh, we're gonna get this injection this afternoon and then we'll see where we go from there it is time for the injection and I'm nervous because I was told it's gonna hurt a lot but it needs to be done so let's hope the pain is just temporary Well, that was fine. That actually really didn't hurt at all. It was the anticipation of the pain that, that was more stressful than the actual injection. I don't know if it's just because Dr. Fitzgerald here was just like being really gentle, used a small needle, decent amount of anesthetic, but it was just a little prick at the start and then it was really fine to just kind of breathe through. So I'm glad that's done. I don't actually know how the next few days look, but I will touch base with what we're doing. Well, that's it for week number five of the Tokyo Training Diary. I didn't do any more sessions, so I didn't really have an outro. So here we are. Goodbye for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next week. Ciao!